or crew assembled by that time, but <clears throat> you're going to be working on land and getting the foundation planned anyways, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, where does the... Do you think it's it's feasible to dedicate any time to that grant application I sent to you? And right. like before October 29th, yeah. I mean, like I, I'm obviously going to help you do it, but there's a lot of like the other applications, a lot of admin data I don't have that I would prefer that you be the one to fill out. And obviously, you're going to need to review a bunch of stuff. Yeah, how much? I mean, it depends how much time it takes. What would we'll, we'll you estimate the amount of time it would be uh, to get in all that those details? Um, I mean, if you give me a couple weeks, I'll have most of it filled out and so then it'll just be a matter of you reviewing and then may, i would say like two three hours uh, yeah and it doesn't right. have to be all at once um uh, that would be a problem now what's the <clears throat> so what's the payoff there the the idea there is that there's potential funding for starting the training programs right which we can pump directly into as far as i can see from the description this is going right into our apprenticeship we're recruiting people that want to build who want jobs you know so we have kind of high alignment on that that route it combines with any elites who might want to join the program but for me i'm absolutely combining like this is like the the, the messaging is going to be we're we're combining the trades and we're combining the intelligentsia and the proletariat here this is uh yeah that kind of message um, not in those well, words. They don't care. Yeah, they don't care about that. What they care about is like the federal government has certain categories of, of special populations that they want to serve as a part of the America Recovery Plan. So it's like, you know, people who are currently employed but are looking to change jobs, people that don't have work, or like unemployed, underemployed, people that live in um, like certain census tracts that are impoverished or whatever. Yeah. And so yeah. if you design like that, that what they care about is you have a recruiting and training program that targets specifically one of those groups, which is like for us super easy, like between Kyle Smith, the Kyle Smith organization for returned citizens and the veteran program, like we easily could focus on multiple of those populations. Does is the one target population potentially veterans as well? Like that's, that's it. Well, no. Yeah. It's a weird thing. Like, like, you would think that it would be, but it's not. It's not. Um, it this this money is is specifically tied to increased job and like labor participation and uh, employment. So like veterans are not okay. uh, a subset, but it, to me that like that's not that big of a deal. Right, and the thing is, I mean, the the requirement on our side is: are people willing to learn and get into a program of lifelong learning and and that, that kind of a mindset where it's not like you're just getting into this crap job, but but it's better. But this is, uh, I mean, ideals are higher than that, and that's how I would definitely pitch it. Because people who are going to stagnate, they're going to burn, they're going to you know burn out or move on, you know. Right. I mean, they, they they're good. They're yeah, they're evaluating applications on like, uh, like, or is the company upskilling the labor force? Is the company um, including pre like parts of the population that aren't typically employed at this rate are they like pre creating opportunities we hit all that yeah. we exceed by a, str a long stretch like anything that they're looking for so yeah i just need to take a look at that application and start pulling stuff out you no, know I mean, just a quick view of it, it looked really good and it's uh, i don't see any misalignment i mean this is exactly what we're about right right the the hard, the, the hard part for me, like, that's not the hard part, but, like, the specifics we need to get into at the level of budget, uh, yeah. I don't know if the, the grant proposal we already have is going to cut it, but um, I know that you've put together a lot of numbers already, so, like, that'll take some time for me to go through. I just need to take a look at it, or take a swing at it, and then send you, like, hey, I need help with X section. And, and is this consistent with we're developing those those opportunities or it's like they want people who are already up and running i mean to to what extent can we fund infrastructure development cur curriculum development yeah the, the, there's uh 
I owe you a, a clear answer, but my understanding is they there's upfront money to get the project started, and then there's reimbursement money for capital expenditure. And under capital expenditure, you can do things like pay for childcare for labor participants and travel expenses to a certain degree. And you can actually re use it to renovate facilities. You just can't use it to build a new facility. So like they have criteria for what you're allowed to use the money for. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's in that guide. I just don't have the answer yeah, off the top I mean, of my head. We, it sounds sounds good to me because we've got plenty of stuff to to build a new and plenty of stuff to renovate and upgrade. And that, right. as far as even going radical on a child care, I mean, this one guy here in town, Brent, he's, we actually started talking about the potential of setting up Acton Academy on site. You know Acton Academy? No. Wait, wait what academy? It's basically home, it's, uh, it's alternative schooling, but it's uh, it's a... It's a franchise that's grown rapidly. It's called Acton Academy. Acton Academy. Okay, no. uh, this is this is hot stuff. This is. Uh, but anyway, that's, that thought just came to me. If we talk about childcare, this is advanced childcare. This is about uh, actually school. <laughs> right. So. Um, Cause the, actually, that's, that's, is a, was a te is a teacher. She was a teacher. Uh, here's Acton Academy. That's what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah. If a little bit of time like that, absolutely. If it's detracting, like you know, the major time is of course prep and all that. But I feel much better after doing the the water and plumbing, which is like, oh yeah, it's better than I expected. So it's like it's it's super sweet. So it was fast, and we can probably do it. Uh, it was so fast; it's probably two, we're going to be able to do it two times as fast as I thought we were aiming for. It, man, the simplicity does it, and all doing all the shark bite quick fit, quick fittings, and all that. So uh, I feel pretty good about that. I will have if we push the event all the way back to November, um, then I don't see a problem with the timing. There's time to fit out all this kind of stuff, multiple tracks of. Uh, the engagement yeah. yeah I mean we're we're fast approaching I'm just wondering like when the best time to start put like actively putting the word out for the crew to recruit uh, the crew 15th. let's see let me see look at the critical path um, now I'm looking at it now October yeah. 1 <laughs> October so 1 that would give you it would give you 15 days to uh from when we get approval to get like a permit of some kind and like find a, a lot is that what you're saying due diligence to closing and that's the, we're gonna have land at october 15. okay um that's when we can close on a permit but i'm gonna go into like permanent consultation like i'm, I'm gonna you know make contact with all the people we're interested in because this these two weeks will be okay identify a few lots and then we say, okay, we want to do this. And then I'll check in with them because we're basically ready to go. The closing is like 30 days from offer to, to title because you need a survey and title search, all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's like, looks like October 15, according to industry standard time scales, that's October 15 is minimum. But what, what I think is uh, critical is this part, what I'm looking at October 1, just getting that big check over there of more uh, more proofing. Like, like before I do something, and like it's not real. It's the, yeah, it's just not real. That's what I'm just saying. Having done the water plumbing part, oh man, yeah. I'm, I'm like, I can now say, like before I couldn't say October 1, now I can say October 1 because I feel that level of comfort for me to say, okay, now I can commit fully to make sure that, okay, when we're going to get in there, those finishing details are going to be as effective as the structural, which we were very familiar with by now. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I say October 1, whether we have the land or not, I don't think it matters because we're going to have to close in on land. We still have uh, 45 days for land. Mm -hmm. Um from October 1. 
well, you got to do foundations, but we've got a full month from October 1 to close off on land. So if we if the land closure takes more than October 15, we've got two weeks there, um, which we have a buffer. So that's good. Mm -hmm. That's I think that's pretty safe. Um, and how how close are we to getting the automated bill of material? Oh, that part. Uh, that part is the automated part is not not critical at the level of the one house because we've got a detailed bill of materials okay. for it. That's for su subsequent okay. versions. Uh, got it. But yeah, materials feel good about that. I mean, uh, we're not sourcing anything exotic. Uh, heat pumps we've gone through. S uh, we've got like three different ones that we looked into that we know how to source. That's kind of like some tricky tricky items. Uh, yeah, everything is too standard. It's standard pretty standard okay so I'm not worried about materials um, foundations that means uh, what I would do is I would rent a Bobcat from the uh, rent one for for 3k for a full month so we do the foundations and have it available during the build as well for any other if we need it mm -hmm. uh, so I'd rent one for a month okay Hmm. What are you worried about? Uh, September 1 to October 1. <clears throat> Engineering, I feel good. Permit. I mean, land. Land, I mean, it's it's a different game. Like, St. Joe, there's some really sweet land out of I went for a bike ride last weekend. Holy cow, they got some nice places. And it's mm. cheap. You can get an acre for twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, I just looked at a lot twenty thousand for a beautiful acre. Um, so, just getting that that check the check meaning uh, a whole year that it takes to document and you know the last decade of, of building things effectively now culminating in here's like trim trim and finish detail. So, uh, but I don't see too, mu too much surprises there because so far everything that I've done turned out, I would say, um, as good or better. I had trouble with the siding, but that's because I was out there in the freezing cold, so it was actually physically very challenging uh, when it was cold and you're up at height. Uh, so I had to pretty much go in inside for a bunch of time, uh, and it took a long time. But we simplified that we simplified the top because we uh, i don't know if you remember we simplified the top to, to nine feet instead of eight so we don't have to uh do all that work on the mm -hmm. upstairs that that's mm -hmm. part of the house the, the house actually contains it already so we don't have to build it that's easier yeah so things got you know through all this time this extremely long extended process through the process smoothing things out as well that's that's what mm. happens. That's why it's it's, it's taking forever. forever. But like as, as soon as, as anything is done, it's like oh yeah, love it, loving it, as good or better. Um, yeah. So um, there's also the the question of the apprenticeship. Yeah. So um, that thing is pretty canned. So I think the turnaround is going to be quick, especially since we've been working with Jeremy for a long time. Um, my question to you though is, I don't think that. They're they're going to let us start the apprenticeship with the first build because once the build is over, there's no guarantee. We don't have a guarantee yet that the, the apprentices are going to be able to roll into the next uh, You're talking about house. About team? Right. Yeah, no, no. So, I'm talking apprenticeship is more like March. Okay, yeah, so, so I guess what I'm saying is I, I can... Like, we can work with Jeremy and get everything up approved, just like we did with the production technologist one, uh, and then treat the first build like the pilot for the apprenticeship and then expand on that. So, like, once once we're confident that we can run this thing consistently for several months, then we drop the paperwork and it's like a rubber stamp. Yeah, I mean, uh, I look at it as we, we prove the economics there, the economics slash ergonomics, which, yeah. I mean, 
we're putting in 50k for labor I'm, I'm expecting that to be 25k like once we get going here we're over budgeting so we could do it absolutely on time so now and then in the three months after that is is like getting the apprenticeship and getting a curriculum and facility and stuff so it's um so it's not continuing it's actually developing after that so that's a milestone we prove we proved that we have confidence in economics now it's program development how is the how is the 50k over budget i thought a uh, thousand uh, hours at 50 bucks uh i mean i want to like right now I, i'm going more for like the 500 number so it's probably going to be 750 uh hours like when you look at every single step you count the hours um yeah. i was budgeting a thousand that by estimate it's like uh, we could do better. We, the simplicity we have in this, we could do better, actually. So that's why right. I'm saying it's it's over budgeting on that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and especially like when you have so crews that come in for that, and you know nobody's done it before, and it's like you're trying to work out the flow. Um, there's gonna be some loss there, even if it's with professionals. I mean, my my biggest concern is the professionals that do come. Uh, that. <laughs> That they're going to want to do the, the, the build that we were building, that they're not going to rebel. Because uh, I was reading more online, and it's like, it's common for, for tradespeople to not build what the, what the owner wants them to build. And just build it a different way. And they say, sorry, I'm either not doing it, or I'm going to build it my way. That's common. And I Well, I mean, I think if, you, so, if you're advertising 50 bucks an hour, you, my guess is you're going to be able to be selective. Absolutely, and that's that's. But I'm saying, like, we're gonna have to make sure we ask all those questions that the people are absolute team players that don't ha have any issue with doing things a different way. I'm gonna I'm, th I'm gonna make sure that this one um, is clear because even the experience back in what was it July? I mean, right. I thought I was done with it. it. Wasn't. So I'm gonna make it, man. I'm gonna be strict, absolutely strict on that. Because that, and yeah, like if there's any hint that what? people are not not on board, no, just move on. Like not, not what? Even like, uh, <laughs> like oh maybe this guy, you know maybe we can teach him. No 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 no, they're gonna have to be right. op just open minded. Just open minded is all, you know. Right. Because just about what do you think we're doing like a progressive way, or right. an alternate or whatever, which which is. Just the way the trades work, that's risk that uh, they don't take on. They don't take on risk. It's, it's risky because, you know, they feel the responsibility and potential of callbacks. For me, I'm not worried. I've studied it enough. I, I want to I wanna move uh, the world of construction forward. So, yeah. No, I, I hear you. Um, another thing I was thinking about is do, do you expect any bottlenecks with tools? Not really, because, you know, for example, for the DeWalt's, you know, we already have like a dozen of them, and we could pro okay. probably, you know, double it up to even 24. Uh, so tools aren't actually that expensive these days, you know, so don't have too much of, a, of an issue on that, because we'll, we'll just do multiple numbers, and then if any, any issue does exist, the big box stores have replacements immediately. So... Well, shoot, I mean... Looking at the design, you need a crosscut saw, a screw gun, <laughs> a ladder. Well, and then... Uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. There's also stuff like, for example, we are going to have a DeWalt um, electrical nailer, things like that. So specialized tool. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to right. double the speed and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's a, there's a that's bunch nice. of tools. But it is very simple. And no exotic right. tools. Any tool that we use... Um, is readily available in local local stores, pretty much. And I, I see that you're sleeping with the uh, shark bites in your room. Is that oh, like a yeah. osmosis? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, um. So I see I see Brian's phones on here, and I don't know if he can hear us, but welcome, Brian. Hey, I'm here. I've been here. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't catch you uh, when you came on, but um, I, my understanding is um, 
permitting expected to complete or not permitting, but engineering expected to complete September 15th and tentative uh, build date one month later in November is, is seems like the realistic projection right now. Um, and then what else we saw? We talked about the apprenticeship. I'm working on the grant. Um, yeah, those are the big rocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, the other thing I didn't mention was the truck and trailer. Like, we're going to need that to move, haul stuff around, even because we actually have a bunch of modules already made on this right here. We're going to need to move stuff, including the, the bucket. Right. We'll, we'll so likely I'd, use our micro truck as well, so we have to carry that to the site. Yeah. I mean, are you going to are you gonna rent I, one for the first build? I, gonna... was, I mean, that's something we're going to absolutely need for forever. If we're doing this business, no, I know, but we don't yeah. have the funding coming through yet, so um, that's the only reason I ask. I think we'll have money for that. Uh, I mean, we so we got 120k in the bank right now, and the other thing is, um, Steve can probably help on that. Those that part, it's kind of like paid for because we know we're gonna have some funding coming in December, right? Right. And regarding that, are we supposed to be following up anything? Like, because uh, we haven't actually haven't heard anything since. Oh, I, I honestly forgot what he said. I, I'm like 90% sure they're supposed to contact us. Yeah. For filling out some final like, paperwork in October. So actually, right. actually we're, right. you know, that's a month away still. Um, yeah, I think they're, he, they're going to board approval in October, he said, and then yeah. shortly, then that makes it final, mm -hmm. and then yeah. okay. the money comes after. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Other Brad, uh, Brad, have you been able to look at the ARPA grant that I started? Um, no, I have not. Um, are you okay. ready for me to look at it, or do you want to? It, well, uh, I, I really have two questions. Uh, one is, um, you know, it'd be nice to collaborate on it. It's a federal grant. There's some nuance to filling it out. And then the second thing is, the um, if you or anyone in your network has experience, like, with federal money, um, it would be helpful to like no, no. just educate us or or even add yourself as a sponsor to this grant because apparently there's like tracking and paperwork involved that like you actually get extra points if you click yes i have experience or yes somebody in my you know organization has experience working with the federal grant process right okay um do you mind uh refreshing that so i can find it i'm sorry i didn't I know I knew there no, was a grand conversation, but I didn't. I don't haven't looked. Yeah, not a problem. Um, it, it also, I added each of you as a. You should have access to the actual grant page. Um, so just a heads up. Uh, okay, cool. I feel I feel like I understand what's going on. Better, mm -hmm. but more better. Martin, do you have a? Are you? Is your plan to put this house on the open market? And yeah. And is your plan to do the second house and third house in St. Joseph as well? Well, it makes sense to do two two builds, so we have um, at least two builds because we have um, so five days of the budget we're proving right. That's the thing we we need to prove for the, the economic model. Uh, it makes sense if there's a block, like for example, we're at a certain stage and, and we need an inspection or like something is messed up. We want to have two sides. So yeah, those two definitely in St. Joe, they want to be, uh, we want to do two f as a backup so, so we can travel from one to the other if as a hedge for any, any block. So we're not having our 24 or more people that are doing nothing that we're paying paying them. So that's... But the idea for this first run was, yeah, just open market um, to prove the model. 
Okay. And that's largely because we don't have any customers or haven't found. We then look for it and we're not making an exclusive effort to look right now, partly because of time budget considerations. Secondly, to just show the, the spec model, which is a large, large, largely replicable, that's, that's highly replicable. So that doesn't hurt. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I get it. Yeah. Martin, is there a reason? Man, oh, I want to get go. I want to do fifty to two hundred forty houses next year. That's that's my goal. I, I I smell this. This is getting really close. Is, is there a reason uh, that's only blue packs? Um, is there is there hot water going into or is? Yeah, there's hot hot and cold. The codes don't require color coding. Got it. And okay. We're doing it specifically on our side for part count, like. Yeah. It's cool to have the visibility, but that means you got to get twice the, the piping, which is two more items in the yeah. materials. Um, right. I, I, guys, I'm going to jump, but uh, if you, I'll look at the grant and I'll talk to you this weekend, uh, Marchin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Congrats on all the progress. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's moving along. A long walk to freedom. <laughs> good to hear your voice, Brian. Have a, yeah. have a good one. Have a good one. You too. All right. Bye. Yeah, John. <clears throat> but that's the, what you see there is almost embarrassing because what you see is like so simple that you wouldn't know it's like <laughs> ten years of work or like or like one full month of CAD. So this is based on <coughs> all, all the experience we had to absolute rigor on routing where you put things. So it's just integrated designs. Nobody does that. In this way, like typically, it'd be more complicated. Like as I said, that's, I haven't seen anything simpler, and I call that like the simplest design in the world for for achieving those several functions. So there's a lot of functionality in it as uh, I described. Yeah, that there's in the writing. There's there's got to be some uh, wise parable or saying about how like the hardest. It takes a lot more intelligence and effort to make something simple, and it doesn't make it complex. Yeah, I mean, there's quotes about that, and, and like Einstein says, make it as simple as possible, but no simpler. And then there's others that true, true, truly good design is simple and elegant. So yeah, it's kind of that. Um, yeah, so for like, yeah, I mean, for me, it's that's a like a made. Uh, major accomplishment there because it was it was easy not only that we can go you have the modules right you put the packs t's and components on the modules because we know exactly where they are now and you build that up in a in, at the module level at the framing level and when you install to to connect all the all the tubings it's gonna be like 15 minutes so like, mm -hmm. Well, with a few people, it'll be like, a single person probably could make all the plumbing. The because it's shark bite quick connect takes a second to snap it in, and it's a watertight seal. So a single person will do that in like an hour if the fittings are in place. So it's crazy. It's good. It's, uh, we're moving. So that's the kind of stuff like you know. That's yeah. It does take time. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're, yeah, I feel really good about that. And just uh, doing that check on the finish, the critical path, all those other items. Uh, so that's, yeah, I just get busy on that. Do you want me to set up another meeting uh, before the 15th, or do you want to wait until after the 15th to do a check-in about the grant and other stuff? Timeline, uh, approval. of, of um, September. September. I think we're, um, let's play it by your Because, like, you, Brad. okay, yeah, because I, you're, you look pretty busy with the build until October 1st. Yep. Uh, but I'd like to give you an opportunity to work on the grant before you Absolutely. have 30 days left, so maybe. I okay. mean, in my ample spare time, it'll take me from uh, following, um, the events in Ukraine and taking a look at this. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, yeah, so so I would say right now because because I mean that could be any time. Like you know, I have uh, my main thing is make sure I get enough sleep and 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 get enough exercise every day and keep healthy. So that's yeah been pretty decent. I'll tell you what, I'll I'll set it up for the fifteenth or the sixteenth because I'd like to do I'd yeah. like to to do it right when the engineering's done. Yeah. So we can just click confirm and then that'll be my trigger maybe to start doing the recruiting piece. Yep. Um, and then October, if I see you on Twitter, time. events a lot of time. Yep. October. If 1. I, uh, yeah, but where where's the promo video coming from? Uh, I have footage, and we'll get a um, a remote editor. Okay. I have um, script. Yeah. If I if I see you on Twitter, uh, commenting about the war in Ukraine, I'll just tell you to get back to work. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I'm just kidding. You need a break. Um, okay, cool. I uh, will do that. I'll I'll send over a meeting. Yeah. No, that, that's good. That's good. Okay. Um, I think that's it. That's it for now. Yeah. No, it's, it's coming together slowly. Long walk to freedom, as I say. Yeah, I'm excited, man. All right. Okay. Tell it. Can you wave goodbye? Say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> goodbye. All right, man. See you. Bye. See you. Bye.